How you call them, friends? Let's try to reach 3,000 once again. Hmm. I can't give a check with queen takes, then take with the rook, say check goes back rank, and then deliver mate. Like I'm saying this one. Good one. We got one easy point. The main reason was that I did it quickly was that I saw that my king uh, is surrounded by many pieces, so I cannot try to win anything. I should deliver mate. Then I saw that the edge file is open, so I should activate the rook. Hmm. We should attack, I believe. Let's also count the number of pieces. There are three minor pieces for each side and two rooks and queen. So everything is equal. I can, of course, take the pawn I'm thinking about with the queen I'm thinking about the continuation uh, naturally we would like to deliver mate mm. or can I trap the queen somehow just somehow mm. I can also take the deep pawn with pawn because I enable my queen to give a check at d4. That's also nice. It's a different angle. Wow, this puzzle looks hard. I don't have a, any initial idea actually. Except taking pawn and uh, the, I mean, I don't see the big plan. What is the goal of this puzzle? So let's say I take the D pawn with the queen. No, I just go for calculation because I don't see any big plan. I take the pawn with queen. What can he do? He can take my G pawn, but he cannot deliver mate or anything like that. If I go as low, he can play rook H8. And rook H8 is basically mate because then queen h1 is made and our king doesn't have an escape room so maybe i should take the pawn because uh, taking the pawn with the queen helps preventing rook h8 because in this case if it goes rook h8 we play queen f6 check and after king moves we deliver mate so let's take the pawn and then sink Mm, wants to give a check at g5 i don't see any continuation for this check but but we can prevent it or we cannot so i can give a check to my opponent's king takes the pawn i can give a check at the seven takes the pawn and then then what to do next if i let him to check at g5 checks i go to hmm, yeah i go to f1 and then uh, he doesn't even need to check at g5 he just needs to bring the rook at h8 he, this is his plan actually it's plan actually engine is it so if I do something nonsense, place rook h8 again. And there is no stop to that. So how to prevent rook h8 actually? I have one idea like attacking to the queen, forcing the queen to move. Knight uh, f3. Queen gives a check at somewhere like g4. I should deflect this queen. Because it's very nice to give a check at, uh, at e7. And as long as queen is taking care of e7, I cannot give such a check. 
So let's calculate knight f3. Knight f3, queen gives a check at g4. I go to f1. If rook h8, we deliver mate, right? So he has to continue checking us. This time with the queen at uh, g7. He also noticed that he also cannot uh, take my bishop with his knight because we will derivate mate with going queen e7. Yeah, it sounds very promising. He gives the check at g2 with the queen. I go to e1. And uh, no, he doesn't have any other sane check. He has one check at h1, but this is very bad for him. So let's deflect this queen. Unfortunately, it didn't work. We saw too much, but it didn't work. What was the continuation? Oh, just simply gives check. But I believe my continuation was also okay. No, it wasn't okay. What's the continuation? It takes the bishop. If we take back, takes with rook. This was a mistake of me. I didn't notice that the rook also can help the queen. So we can take the g-pawn with check. King runs away. Uh, king has only one square that doesn't run away. King can go only to uh, g uh, h1. So let's take it. This is a very forcing move. And then next move, I can give a check with the rook and then deliver mate, right? can give a check and this is a mate good one we like such puzzles gives us such puzzles okay i take the rook with check uh takes back i actually like to put my queen on d7 this is obvious right this is obvious if we put our queen on d7 we are happy and this is why I'm thinking about taking the rook. Take the rook. And it takes back with the rook. Attack the rook with the pawn. Uh, then gives a check with the queen. At uh, d4. And when we move the king... Uh, wins over pawn so what if i attack the rook right away uh, another option i've seen is that we can push that pawn all the way to queen it this is also nice right if we can do that hmm uh, i also think about taking the bishop with the rook if i take the bishop and he does nothing he, uh, if he takes back with the mm, uh, with either pawn it's bad for him if he takes back with the e pawn then bishop d5 is a check is a killer check is a mate actually he has only one move uh, rook e6 and then queen e7 delivers mate if it takes back with the g pawn then queen g7 is made oh it's such a good move right it's such a good move something like it was something like caesar made two bishops mating the king so in this case obviously wants to win our f pawn but we can also pin this knight we pin this knight and rook doesn't have many places to go. This is interesting, isn't it? Pin the knight with the rook. And um, our threat is to play um, bishop c6 next move and win the knight. What can he do? He cannot give a check at the back rank because uh, it's protected by our bishop. He cannot go to b7 with the, for the same reason. The only place he can go with the rook if he wants to move the rook is to go to is to go to c 
7 but then we slowly but surely bring the bishop into attack like something like bishop oh oh i see the point if we go rook c7 then i shouldn't be slow i should move the king first because he wants to give a check at c8 and get rid of the pin so but otherwise we can bring the bishop and he cannot do anything yeah let's take the oh don't take the rook because it takes over no it gives check and chess.com is always tricky yeah not a bad round good round we had one failure uh, even though for that failure we spent a lot of time for this one i wanted to tell you this was a long plan Suppose he wasn't doing knight takes um, that pawn, for example, he was trying to bring the king in, okay? I don't know, I was thinking about um, pushing this pawn, because um, if he continues bringing the king in, the bishop goes there, and we are done. So, and attacks the knight. Sometimes you don't need to immediately win the piece, especially pinned piece. You just uh, pin it, and later you finally win it. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.